Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to take the material that we set up in the last video and add in some surface imperfections, namely some smudges and scratches, to give the floor a more realistic used look. Before we jump over to Unity, let's take a look at the uh, maps that we'll be using in this video. We're going to make use of two, the Floor Smudges Type A Medium, uh, this one here, uh, and also Gun Scratches 003. Um, both of which I already have saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link to them below the video. Right, let's head back over to Unity. Okay, so this is our scene from last time. Uh, if you'll remember, we set up a wood flooring shader, brought in the necessary textures and applied it to this kind of test scene that you get with the lightweight uh, rendering pipeline setup. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna just build on that basically and add to this, this uh, material. So let's go back to our textures folder because we're going to need to bring in a few more. And then what I'll do is find said textures. <laughs> uh, it's floor smudges, wasn't it? There we go. Let's bring in the 3K one, that should be fine. Now, the one we want to use is the um, black smudges on a white background because we're dealing with. Um, uh, gloss slash smoothness rather than a roughness uh, setup that some other things use. It's just easier to use this map. Yeah, so let's grab that one and drag it in. There we go. And we also want gun scratches 003. There we go. And we'll use the um, we'll use the same one. We'll use black scratches on a white background. You could make use of a normal map though, for some reason in my tests, and I don't know if this is just because the setup's still being developed, but when I tried to combine two normal maps, it, things got a little bit strange. Um, so I'm going with this method. So let's bring that in too. Yeah, good. Okay, so we've got our textures in place. Now I'm just gonna go into both of them and turn off sRGB. I don't want the uh, color profile to get in the way. I want the, the raw data from these uh, textures, same as I did for the, uh, the gloss map in the previous video. So let's go to materials, bring our material up and get to work. So first thing we're gonna do is add in the smudges. So let's grab that texture, bring it in. And what I'm also gonna do is bring in another tiling and offset node. Rather than connect up the same one this controls all of the textures for our original material I want a different tiling node for our smudges in case we want the scaling to differ yeah so let's feed that into there so what we need to do now is find a way to take the information from these smudges and use it in our gloss map now because we brought in all the right types of textures it's nice and easy all we need is a multiply node so what it, we're going to do is multiply this texture by this texture. So the white areas will remain exactly the same, whereas the, uh, but the darker areas will be made uh, darker. Yeah. So let's feed that into there. Feed that into there, and then if you hopefully you can see that clearly on your display. But you can see we've got our original gloss map now, but with the uh, smudges overlaid on top. Now what you could also do. Uh, for extra control is bring in an additional multiply node um, and use it to control the strength of the smudges but for now let's keep it nice and simple and I'm just going to leave that as is and feed that into the smoothness map and then hit apply and then what we'll see on our wooden floor hopefully there we go yeah you can see the smudges have uh, taken effect quite nicely in fact that looks good uh, the scaling is a bit off though these would be some rather small feet compared to the size of the floorboards so let's um, adjust that we want the tiling for this one to be about 0.7 I think should work pretty well yeah yeah it looks much better Okay, so we have our smudges in place. Now what we need is our uh, our gun scratches or scratches. So let's feed that in. Now, as I said, there is a normal map for this, but I didn't like the way it was behaving, probably because this is uh, this is still being developed. Um, so I'm using this one instead. 
And what we're going to essentially do is create a normal map from that uh, black and white mask. Okay. So let's go to normal from height. There we go. And feed that in there. So what that's done is create a normal map based off this uh, texture. So good. We now have a normal map. Um, what we need to do now, though, is use it in conjunction with our existing normal map. We don't want to lose the information from that. So let's go create node, normal blend. There we go. And now I can feed in both of these, like so. And we get kind of a combined normal map. You can see the scratches are in there, um, but it's keeping the normal information from the original one as well. And then we can just feed that into the normal output and hit apply. Now, the problem I found, if memory serves me, is it, the effect was a little bit subtle. I couldn't really see. I know it's the opposite. <laughs> Not subtle enough. The scratches are way too strong. Yeah. And I think they're bumping out the wrong way by the looks of it. Okay. So, easily fixed. What we need to do is jump over to our nodes once again and add in a normal strength there we go and then what we can do is just change the strength of this normal map uh -huh. um to be we want about 0 0.3 something like that but we're going to go to negative 0 0.3 because we want it to also invert because it looked like the scratches were bumping out the wrong way so let's save that jump back to our material and yeah, aside from the scaling being a little bit off, I think that will work brilliantly. So let's load that up again. And this one we're going to tile considerably more than the other ones, something like three. Yeah, I think that looks good. So in summary, we've taken our material from the previous video and we've added in some surface imperfections, namely some smudges and scratches, to give our floor a more realistic use look.